record so hello students hope you all are doing well so let's continue our java javascript series okay and uh, today uh, we will going to discuss about the basics concept of your html and css okay i will i will i will assume that uh, if if you had come uh, here for the uh, learning of your java uh, javascript okay then uh, you guys have a basic basic understanding of html and css okay that's why in our in our today lecture uh, we will simply cover the basics basics and uh, some uh, basics and only the re re required thing of your html and css okay uh, that is uh, necessary for uh, learning your java script okay so uh let's continue okay and uh we will discuss only the basics and uh, re required component of your javascript okay so let me share my desktop screen and then uh we will continue our our uh, today lecture let's uh, start okay so if if i will uh share my uh i know the screen of my vs code then uh we have to create a file okay so let's make it name demo okay demo and the extension of your html file is html okay then press enter okay so uh this is the demo file uh, will be created okay uh for you so let's make it something zoom okay i think this okay uh now it's good okay so uh press shift plus one okay shift plus one and then press enter okay so uh this is the uh this is the by default uh boiler plate for uh, of your html uh will be generated by your vs code ide okay yeah uh, this is the default boiler plate of your html okay uh you just have to do uh, that is shift plus one and then press enter okay then this uh this uh a uh, simple boiler plate will be generated say plus one then press enter okay and uh, uh here uh you can say that the uh, basic tags uh that are head and uh, body uh is being defined here okay so your all the code uh will be uh written inside your html tag okay so uh, uh here uh we had opened the html tag and uh at the last hour html tag will be the close okay and then after the uh head uh head tag uh, will be defined okay uh after uh after defining your html tag inside that your head tag will be defined okay so uh here uh, we have defined our head and then uh head is closed okay and after the uh head your body tag will be defined okay see uh, now if you have to write anything if you uh, have to write anything then all the uh, operations operations will be performed in inside your body tag okay all those kind of operation will be performed inside the body tag okay and if you if you uh, have to make a uh, make a comment in your html then uh, simply select uh, select the commented area and press control forward slash okay control forward slash okay uh, then your uh, that particular area uh, will be comment out okay okay and uh, now let's come to our head tag okay so inside your uh, head tag the uh, simple simple you know the meta tag titles okay styles scripts tag this thing uh, will be uh, will be defined inside your head tag okay so uh, the meaning of your title okay if, if you uh, run your uh, if uh, we will run our this html page then this title uh, will be displayed at the top of our browser okay so if i will run see uh, for the for the running of your html i will uh, su i will suggest to you guys that uh, simply go to your extension in your vs code and type here live server live server okay so uh just uh simply simply 
install this server i i had i had already already installed it uh, that's why it is not showing the option of the install but it will so so like this then you just have to install the live server okay and after after installing the live server you know this uh button will be display yes see see uh see here at the right right lower corner the go live server will be uh uh display okay now we have to run our html page okay so uh either uh you can just uh right click on your page and simply uh you know the open in default browser okay so let's select this option so this uh this is the uh this so that your html page is running right now see the document is here but it is blank uh, why uh, because we had not perform any operation in our body tag okay so if if i will change the element of my head tag okay so let's give here first html okay first html okay so if if i will uh, make your first html save your code and uh, and if uh, we will go and refresh the page then the first html title will be displayed at the top okay so uh, this is the property of your title tag uh, that will that will be fine inside your head tag okay and now see now uh, if we perform some kind of operation okay so if i will use the heading tag uh, let's take h1 okay so h1 then enter okay then uh, this is my head tag uh, will be added okay and if i will write that this is my first html project okay this is my first html project okay save it and if i will go to my browser okay if i will go to my browser and just refresh it okay then see the uh, message will be display at your browser uh, that is this is my first html project okay uh, that is how your html will work see uh you can see that i have to refresh my page again and again uh how many times i had uh, made changes at my html page uh at every time i have to refresh my uh, browser page okay so for uh, for the for the uh i know the preventing for those kind of things uh, we are uh, using the go live server okay so if i will click on go live okay then our live server will be started okay our live server will be started here okay and now and now if i will make any kind of change okay so let's add here another paragraph okay another paragraph h1 then after that plus enter okay uh, and i will uh, write here this is live server okay live server okay then i don't have to uh, refresh my page see it is come automatically i don't have to uh, refresh my page again and again okay so this is the benefit of uh, using your live server uh, during uh, building the project at your stream okay so that is how uh, you can perform the perform the operation also uh, many tags are uh, defined your html like uh, this is your h1 tag if uh, you have to uh, you have to minimize the size of your font that uh, you can add s3 tag okay so inside your this is a small size okay so the size of your this s3 tag uh, will be as small as compared to your h1 tag okay see the size will be the as small as compared to your okay okay the same uh your heading tag uh, will be the h7 up to h6 okay so if i will write here i see uh, this is the most smallest font at your stream okay also some uh, more uh, more uh, you know the predefined tag like par paragraphs uh, this is your paragraph okay this is your para graph okay so if i go refresh it 
so uh, this will uh, print that this is your paragraph tag okay so that is how uh, you can uh, simply define these some tags in your html some uh, predefined tags okay and now let's come to our uh, you know the css part okay let's come to our css part okay so the uh, basic aim of your uh, using uh, css that is providing the style to your web page a styling uh, will be provided by your web page okay so the css can be added in your html uh, by th three way okay uh, first one is your inline css inline css second one is your uh, you know the second one is your internal css internal css and third one is your external css okay so this is the three way uh, that the css can be added to your html tag okay so let's see these all three way one by one okay so uh, first of all makes this thing comment out from here okay see the inline css okay so uh here i had uh defined my h1 tag and if i will define the style okay a style the css will only write into your style okay so a style is equal to if i will add the color color okay so let's add here aqua color okay so this font uh will be uh, uh then after the color of my font will be the change here okay see this color will be the change okay and the uh remaining will be the black and but this is the uh this will become the aqua color and if i will change the color let's take it red okay then uh this will become the red okay so that is how uh you can add the css into your html tag and uh this is called your inline css okay also uh you can add many uh i know the properties like uh this is the color also uh you can add the uh you know the background okay background comma uh backgrounds color and uh, many more things okay backgrounds color okay so uh these all things uh, okay so uh, let's put it here back background okay uh background ke through uh you can also change the color like let's say red here okay red then the background color will be the change see the uh, background color is become red here okay so that is how uh, you can add the uh, css uh, in your html now let's see the internal css okay uh this is the property of your inline css now let's see the internal css so uh css uh we will define our style tag okay uh, we will define our style tag inside your head okay the style will be defined inside your head and now if you uh have to if you uh have to apply the uh css you at your h3 tag if you have to apply the css at your h3 tag okay so uh what uh, you will do just simply give your h3 tag uh that means you wanted to apply the css at your h3 tag and then after the curly braces will be declared so let's take uh you wanted to change the font font size okay if you uh, wanted to make your font size let's take uh you know the large large then the size of your s3 tag will be become the large okay uh this is the last okay and now if you uh, wanted to change the color color so uh the color will be also changed i will make the blue color then the color of my this tag will be this now this will become the blue okay also uh you can add more properties like uh you know the background as well the background color can be also changed the position the size the filter okay so if i change the background color let's make it uh, you know something this kind of colors okay then the background color of my paragraph will be the change okay so that is how uh, you can add uh, css
internally to your HTML file. Now let's see how uh, you can add the CSS externally. Externally, okay. So you don't have to do anything, okay. Now well, let's make this thing comment out from here. You just have to create a, another file here, okay. So let's create a file of your CSS uh, that is demo.css, okay. And uh, uh, this uh, we had created a CSS file uh, that is demo.css and just simply link this file into your head tag, okay, uh, by using your link tag, okay. So, uh, by using your link tag, uh, by using your link tag, uh, uh, you can link this file to your HTML page, okay. So, link and then uh, press enter and just pass the name of your CSS file into this href tag okay so the uh, name of our uh, css file uh, that is demo.css okay uh, re uh, re uh, remember that the name of the file will be the same or uh, that uh, you had made it there okay so demo.css okay so now uh, by using this link tag your uh, css file will be the linked with your html file and now if uh, if uh, you uh, wanted to perform the uh, you know uh, let's say you want to change the color of your all h1 text okay so i will make it here i, I wanted to change the color for the uh, let's take cat blue then the color of my all headings uh, that is h1 will be the change okay if i will take the uh, another color here then see the color will be change. Okay. Uh, that is how uh, you can add the external CSS as well. Okay. So let's take font family. Font family, if I will make anything, let's take it. it. Then the font uh, font font style will be the change also. Okay. So that is how uh, that is how uh, you can add the CSS to your HTML page as well. Okay. So this is all about the basics of your HTML and CSS uh, that, that will be uh, required for uh, learning your JavaScript concept, okay? So this is all about our today lecture. See you in the uh, next lecture uh, with the basics of your JavaScript, okay? So till then, keep learning, keep growing. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.